Hey, what's going on guys? How do you do? It's your boy Gray here. In today's video, I wanted to show you guys a best class setup for those of you who don't really snipe or run a shotgun that often. This is a class that I use to utilize those two weapons in one class, giving you the best of both worlds. Enjoy the gameplay footage, and if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe for more daily content. So I created this class one day because of a mission team that needed sniper kills or shotgun kills to get XP for that mission challenge. I don't really remember what team it was, but from those challenges came this class here. And as you guys can see on the screen here, I have a class titled, Please Don't Make Me. The reason I named it that is because I only use this class for two reasons. And reason number one is for when I'm playing core team deathmatch and the map is Neon from the Sabotage DLC. Neon is the best map to use shotguns in, and I don't care how many people complain and bitch about shotguns being overpowered and it's really not playing the game right and it's for noobs and all this crap. Fuck all that noise. I put in work 90% of the time with every other weapon in the game, so one map that I feel is the best shotgun map, I'm gonna utilize a shotgun class. And the second reason I named it Please Don't Make Me is for the times when I'm playing against a team who has a shotgun player. If that shotgun player gets me three times, that's when I'm going to pull out my shotgun and just go to work. Hence the name Please Don't Make Me. As in, please don't make me fuck up your life with my shotgun, you dumbass. Now the first thing I wanted to tell you guys is that the best rig to use this class with or any shotgun with is the FTL rig. For the payload, you're going to want to use FTL Jump. This is the best payload to use with any shotgun class because it can make all the difference in the world to cut that gap between you and the enemy. And as you know, shotguns are mainly close quarter combat weapons and the FTL Jump lets you get close to the enemy in the blink of an eye. Now for the trait, you're going to want to use Power Slide if you have that unlocked. Unfortunately, I don't have it unlocked here yet because I just prestiged it a few days ago and I'm only up to level 30. You can unlock Power Slide at level 40. So um, the trait that I'm currently using is Supercharge, which gives my teammate cooldown packs for their payloads. So I figured I might as well be a good team member until I get my Power Slide. But the power slide is definitely helpful with shotgun classes because it's another way to bridge the gap between yourself and the enemy. Very useful. So once again, take a look at the screen here. Let me show you guys my shotgun and sniper combo class. And keep in mind, I'm not suggesting to use the sniper that I have or the shotgun that I have equipped here. Uh, you feel free to use whichever sniper you want or whichever shotgun you want. It doesn't really matter. The main focus that I want to present you guys here is what to put on both weapons and what's the best perks to use and what's the best either uh, lethal or tactical uh, to put on. And for the record, in my opinion, the best shotgun in the game has to go to the Rack 9 or the S Ravage. So for my primary at the moment, I'm using the Mark II variant of the Reaver Machete, uh, which is an absolute slapper on the field. And I'm using it because it gives me that 15% extra XP per kill. My favorite thing about this weapon is the ability to explode enemies when you melee attack them. And that ability is called Shredder and it's a one hit melee kill. In addition, you also get Stockpile, which increases ammo, and it could also be stacked with extended mags. Now when it comes to shotguns, I find that I hip fire 99% of the time. There's rarely a moment when I'm aiming down a shot. So for attachments, I suggest that you guys put on Rifle Barrel to increase the range and the Laser Sight to help you with hip fire accuracy. Now for the secondary, the first thing you're going to want to do is put on Overkill. And um, this is going to allow you to put a primary weapon as your secondary. Uh, in this case, I'm going to be running the Sniper Mark II variant KBS Longbow Big Brother, which has awareness that keeps the minimap on the screen even when it's zoomed in. And um, it also comes with Stockpile. Uh, the only attachments that I suggest putting on is the Tracker Sight because of how helpful it is when it outlines enemy on the map. Now I've mentioned this before, I'm not a sniping kind of guy, I rarely ever pull it out, but it's nice to run both a strong close quarter weapon and a long range weapon in case the situation presents itself. And once again guys, I just want to mention, you can utilize any sniper rifle that you want, any shotgun that you want, it doesn't matter, it's completely up to your own personal preference, but I would suggest running them with the already mentioned attachments. 
To be honest, I'm just trying to really level up faster, so I'm using the best Mark II variants of both weapons to gain more points, but if I had my option of any Mark II, I would have gone with the Rack 9 Lance Shotgun and the EBR 800 Osiris Sniper. For perks, you're going to want to use uh, Ghost for perk number one to help you stay off the map as you run around all over the place with the shoddy. You're going to want to use Scavenger as perk number two to help you pick up ammo off the ground, guaranteeing that you'll never run out. And for perk three, you're going to want to use Gung Ho so that you can shoot while you sprint, which um, to be honest with the shotgun, it makes all the difference in the world. And finally, guys, you have an option here. You can either use a lethal of choice, a tactical of choice, or you could go back to your sniper and place one attachment of choice onto it. It's definitely up to you guys. Me personally, I like I like putting in that lethal and uh, having a grenade ready for whenever I need it. But like I said, guys, with this class, you're getting the best of both worlds. Uh, you can utilize the shotgun or you can switch to your sniper at any point. I really enjoyed this class. I think it's smart and definitely useful. I suggest you guys try it out and let me know in the comments section what your thoughts are on this class setup. I'd love to hear your feedback. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you're feeling awesome, drop a like on this. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe for more daily content and turn on notifications to get updated when new videos come out. All that good stuff for your boy. Till the next one, my name is Gray. Peace.